The father charged with murder for leaving his toddler to die in a hot car is back in court this morning. The judge is hearing pretrial motions on evidence against Justin Ross Harris, as well as a motion to ban the media from the courtroom. 22-month-old Cooper Harris was left inside his father's car on a hot day in June of 2014. The autopsy showed the toddler died of hyperthermia, or overheating. The father says leaving his son in the car for seven hours was a tragic accident. Nick Valencia is outside the suburban Atlanta courthouse with more for us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. This is a story that gripped the nation last summer. A man accused of intentionally leaving his 22-month-old son to die in a hot car while he was sexting. A prosecutor paints him as a wannabe playboy desperate to lead a child-free life. The defense says that this is merely a tragic accident. A lot of motions on the docket today. Let's bring in CNN legal analyst Philip Holloway to break some of these extraordinary motions down, starting with no media, no public. Can, can this happen? That is a very, very tall order, not only under Georgia law, but under federal constitutional law, Nick. Um, basically, the court has to find that there's a substantial probability that the defendant's right to a fair trial will be prejudiced, not speculatively, speculatively, but will, in fact, be prejudiced. I need some concrete evidence. And that, and that no reasonable alternatives to closing the court are available to the court. Something also that, that kind of strikes me, no private conversation between the wife and the husband, between Justin Ross Harris and his wife. I, I always thought that a wife could not testify or husband could not testify if this is a criminal case, but there's something different here. Normally that would be correct under Georgia law in a criminal case if, if, if it involves cruelty to a child or some other act of domestic violence, there's an exception. And hypothetically, if it becomes necessary, uh, the wife could theoretically be forced to come to the stand and testify about anything her husband may or may not have said that would be incriminating. Now, we mentioned also this removal of sexual charges. Justin Ross Harris charged with sexting underage girls, one girl as young as 17 years old. Uh, well, tell us about this, uh, this motion. What is this about? They basically want to separate all of those counts involving sexting apart from anything involving the alleged murder because under the defense's theory, the evidence that supports those allegations would be irrelevant to anything having to do with they the death of the child. one doesn't have to do with the other. That's correct. They call it improper joinder of the offenses. Now, the prosecutor is going to argue that it is relevant because it goes to his overall motive as it pertains to malice murder. Now, last question. What's the likelihood that these extraordinary motions are accepted by the judge? Well, we never know for sure, Nick. It's always dangerous to get Yes, but if I had to, I would say that she's not going to grant the motion to close the courtroom to the public because that is a very, very hard thing to do. It's a tall burden that they must meet under federal law. Lots of attention on this case. There was a lot of interest in it last summer just uh, by the salacious nature of this. Uh, a man accused of leaving his 22-month-old son, Cooper Harris, in a hot car in a blistering sun here in Georgia last summer. These pretrial motions, Carol, expected to last several days, so it won't ramp up today. Carol. All right, Nick Valencia reporting live for us this morning.